Now for question 6. Which of the following statements about internal energy is correct? Let's look at each statement in detail. The internal energy of a system is the sum of the kinetic energies and potential energies of the system. So this is correct. And what we want is an incorrect statement. So this is not the answer. Um, just a point to note, even though this is from the definition of internal energy of the system, it would be better if you said that this is the sum of the random kinetic and potential energies of the particles in the system. Um, and for the kinetic energies, we are looking at the random microscopic kinetic energies as well as the microscopic potential energy. For part B, um, when negative work is done by a system of ideal gas in adiabatic process, internal energy increases. Now to look at this statement, what we need to do is we need to find a relationship that can relate work done with internal energy. So the relationship to do so is first law of thermodynamics. So this is for statement B, which states that for the increase in internal energy of the system is equals to the heat supplied to the system plus work done on the system. And since this is an adiabatic process, so what we have is Q is equals to zero. And since Q is equals to zero, the increase in internal energy is equal to the work done on the system or negative work done by the system. Okay, so in this case, this is actually a true statement. So this is also not the answer. Let us know, now look at C, option C. So for option C, it states that the internal energy of a closed system of ideal gas increases when temperature increases. So what we are looking is, what is meant by a closed system? A closed system, basically what we see is that the number of moles or the number of molecules remain constant. We need now to find the relationship between internal energy and temperature, and this is for an ideal gas. So if we look at it, for this one, we do have a relationship. We know that for an ideal gas, sorry, the internal energy okay, is equals to, um, for ideal gas, is equals to some constant times n, uh, RT. So when temperature increase, logically we will find that the internal energy increases. So this is also a correct statement and this is not therefore what we want. So lastly, we have option D. When heat is supplied on a system, the internal energy of the system is will increase. So again, we are trying to relate heat and internal energy of the system. So we go back to our first law of thermodynamics because this is the only equation that relates this to actually. So if you look at this, what it simply is saying is that heat will be supplied to the system. So they will are asking you if it is the case that if Q is positive, then the heat, uh, the internal energy of the system will it increase. That means whether the internal energy, the change in internal energy will be positive. And from this equation, we see that it, it is not always true because it would depend very much on the value of W. So if W is negative, and if it is just as large in magnitude as Q, so then um, the magnitude of W is equal to the magnitude of Q, then what we will have is that there will be no change in internal energy. However, if W is negative and the magnitude of W is greater than the magnitude of Q, then what we will see is that the internal energy will actually be negative. So, yeah, 
D is not always correct, so this is not always correct, and so D is the answer.